extent to which all these our politicians take the thief money they're not the one small small they're not care if they will catch them later that one not just did their dictionary when they won't thief so the funny part be say is still more of a calm thief again this time as president if as at that time the sums were thief large like that now nah, it go tip the whole nation united states of america just exposed one of our ex vice president and his wifey the news and details but please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and please hit the subscription button down below i see you as you do so may the blessings of god never cease to overflow in your lives as you all support my channel amen documents exposes our ex vice president atiku used wife to launder 40 million us dollar to us for eight years a report on our former vice president atiku abubakar was subject of a probe 11 years ago by the united states senate committee on homeland security and government affairs shared by senator car levine has been obtained by sahara reporters the report dated our article as vice president of nigeria used offshore companies to siphon millions of dollars between 2000 and 2008 to his fourth wife in the united states jennifer douglas abubakar Jennifer originally an indigy of Onisha, Anambra State, and a Nigeria Television Authority news correspondent in the 1980s, later moved to and became a citizen of the United States. The report detailed our article as Vice President of Nigeria used offshore companies to siphon millions of dollars between 2000 and 2008 to his fourth wife in the U.S. According to the report submitted to the U.S. Senate by the committee on February 10, 2010, they illegally transferred money, made Atiku an employer of labor and a proud owner of American University of Nigeria, AUN. A school institution fees more than 99% of Nigeria's students cannot afford. Sahara reporters gathered that the People's Democratic Party, PDP shifting, established AUN at a time when public universities were collapsing under him and the bank's job and poor Nigeria students were languishing at home due to strike action by lecturers over poor funding. Former President George Bush had in 2004 barred Atiku and other corrupt politically exposed persons from being issued visas to the U.S. The U.S. Senate probe indicting the former Nigeria VP was motivated by U.S. government concern about corruption in the third world and its corrosive effects on the development of honest government democratic principles and the rule of law the report partly reads from 2000 to 2008 jennifer douglas a u.s citizen and the fourth wife of atiku abubakar former vice president and former candidate for president of nigeria helped her husband bring over 40 million u.s dollar in suspect funds into the united states through wire transfer sent by offshore cooperatives to U.S. bank accounts. In a 2008 civil complaint, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission alleged that Ms. Douglas received over $2 million U.S. dollar in bribe payments in 2001 and 2002 from Siemens AG, a major Germany corporation. While Mrs. Douglas denies wrongdoing, Siemens has already pleaded guilty to U.S. criminal charges and settled civil charges related to bribery and told the subcommittee that it sent a payment to one of her U.S. accounts. 
In 2007, Mr. Tiko was the subject of corruption allegations in Nigeria related to the Petroleum Technology Development Fund of the 40 million US dollar in suspect funds. 25 million, 25 million US dollar was wire transferred by offshore corporations into more than 30 US bank accounts opened by Miss Douglas. The US banks maintaining those accounts were at times unaware of a PEP status and they allowed multiple large offshore wire transfers into our accounts. As each bank began to question the offshore wire transfers, Mrs. Douglas indicated that all of the funds came from her husband and professed little familiarity with the offshore corporations actually sending our money. When one bank closed the account due to the offshore wire transfers, a lawyer helped convince other banks to provide a new account. In addition, two of the offshore corporations wire transferred about 14 million US dollars over five years to American University in Washington, D.C. to pay for consulting services related to the, to the development of Nigeria University funded by Mr. Atiku. Combating corruption is a key U.S. value and goal. Due to its corrosive effects on the rule of law, economic development, and democratic principles, in 2001, the Patriots Act made the acceptance of foreign corporation proceeds a U.S. money laundry offense for the first time and required banks to apply enhanced scrutiny to private banking accounts open for senior foreign political figures, their relatives, and close associates. It will be recorded that a former U.S. congressman, William Jefferson, was in 2010 sentenced to 13 years in jail for corruption that involved U.S. companies and Nigeria officials. The ruling by federal judge T.S. Ellis told of the U.S. District Court in Alexandria, Virginia, followed Jefferson's conviction for collecting bribes on behalf of Nigeria officials, specifically Atiku. However, the FBI found 90,000 U.S. dollar cash which Jefferson said was meant for the PDP shifting Eden in Fraser. But Atiku and his wife, Jennifer, did not accept summons and subpoenas to appear before the U.S. courts. Instead, they moved their family out to Dubai and put their Potomac mansion up for sale. Please click on the notification bell for more updates and also give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.